the UMSU News Desk. Details on the latest UMSU Annual General Meeting. CFS Ontario releases a report showing a correlation between tuition fees and rates. And a group of students live outside University Centre to raise awareness on poverty issues. I'm Carolina Basilica. And I'm William Jordan. Welcome to the launch of the UMSU News Desk. Providing news to students from campuses all over the world. Last week, UMSU held their semi-annual AGM in University Center, where the executive gave their report on how the past year went in regards to campaigns, services, business, and budget. The executive touched on a successful celebration week, UMSU's annual Festival of Life and Learning. The Canadian Federation of Students Target Poverty Campaign, a campaign over the year that saw thousands of students calling on the provincial government for a real poverty reduction strategy, and other new initiatives from the UMSU executive, such as the textbook lending program and the collaboration to promote art and music, which still goes on today. And to anyone interested, the UMSU council meetings are open to anyone, and the next one is on March 25th at 6 p.m. in the UMSU council chambers in Helen Glass. In National School News, the Ontario Division of the Canadian Federation of Students released a report examining the connection between high fees and the impact of costs and debt loads on racialized students. The report discovered that due to the effect of things like lower average wages combined with compound interest, racialized students stand to pay more for the average cost of a university degree or diploma than non-racialized students. For more information, the report can be found on the Ontario Canadian Federation of Students website at www.cfsontario.ca. And finally, a group of students took to living outside University Centre for a full week to raise awareness for poverty. For more on that, we go to UMSU News Desk Correspondent, Thomas Tolles. Hey, I'm Caitlin Thompson. I'm Kayla Way. I'm Mike Gould. Hey, I'm Sid Rashid. Hi, I'm Thomas Tolles here with UMSU Vision. Uh, I am reporting from inside this makeshift cardboard homeless shelter, which has been constructed by these fine folks here. Uh, and, and I'm just here to find out a little about what you're doing. So uh, what is this project exactly? Um, well, just first off, the one thing I want to say, I know a lot of students have been talking about it, we are in no way trying to replicate homelessness. All we're trying to do is, uh, is bring attention to it. What we're doing here is just kind of a sliver of what people actually have to experience that are homeless in their everyday lives. So the purpose is, as I said, bring attention to it, raise awareness uh, about homelessness, especially, especially youth homelessness here in Winnipeg, um, as well as across Canada because there's other schools doing this, and uh, secondarily uh, to raise money for uh, our charity of choice, which is resource assistance for youth and uh, donations of non-perishables and clothing as well. I understand you have a special sort of guest tonight, uh, our UMSU president, Sid Rashid. Uh, would you like to say a few words about how your experience has been so far? Sure. Um, I'm only dropping in for 24 hours, but this has been an, uh, a very interesting experience. Uh, I don't know how you're wearing what you're wearing, because it is freezing right now, uh, and we have lots of layers on. Um, a couple things I'd say is uh, it's amazing to see students coming together for such a good cause. There's been some people that have said, oh, you know, um, you're reinforcing stereotypes and things like that. But what we're really here to do, I think, is um, raise awareness on poverty and homelessness in our province and raise funds, right? Last year we raised, um, I think, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 uh, for RAE, which stands for Resource Assistance for Youth, and it deals with youth in crisis situations. They deal with everything from prevention to outreach, uh, support services, um, intervention, and they do a lot of amazing work here. If we can raise some funds um, and get people thinking about it, donating non-perishable items, clothing, things like that, then, then I mean, we're doing our part, right? And it's every, every small step counts, and it's the first step's the hardest. So uh, I'm just happy to be helping these folks out. They're, they're amazing people, and I'm happy to have met them, and I'm also happy to be out here with them for a night. I think it'll be fun, and uh, I don't know. I'm thinking body heat's going to be important. So maybe we'll, like, cuddle, get close to the, you know, the student body, really get us in there. It'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, University of Manitoba students always take any excuse they can to cuddle with each other. Uh, 
So, uh, if someone was interested in helping out uh, the homeless, do you have any advice for you know people who are inspired by this cause? And uh, you already spoke about it a little bit, but uh, thoughts on that? For me, uh, I think what I've learned is, uh, firstly, just to acknowledge that they are there, like not to ignore them because they are human beings. They deserve respect and, and dignity like any other individual. Uh, they just uh, unfortunately are in circumstances that dictate that they may be on the street or they might need extra help. And so really, um, acknowledgement first and then whatever you really can do. Like, I mean, it's it's your own abilities, so whatever you can give them, um, whether it's your time, your money, uh, food, clothing, you know, stuff like that, just, I guess, give what you can get. I was just going to um, make the point that this is a national campaign going on across the country, and I think this year, if I'm not mistaken, there's 19 schools taking part. Yeah, 19 or 20 schools take part. Last year, they raised over $175,000 altogether. So it just goes to show it may only be one small step in one place, but if you can get that echoed across the country or across the province and get different people on board, um, everything starts small. Everything starts with one step, and it can create something much, much larger. So congratulations to all the students doing this across the country. But yeah, just, just to wrap it up, I think um, one thing I just want to draw attention to is uh, the website, which is 5days.ca slash Winnipeg for, for our experience. Um, you're welcome to donate online there if you so choose uh, as well. If you click on the blog link, you can follow the blogs of everyone across Canada that's doing this. You can look specifically by clicking on Winnipeg's blogs on the blog page and uh, read what we have to say about it. And uh, The support has been fantastic. We, there's been a little criticism and we welcome you to come and, and discuss it with us because we, we welcome your opinions. We want to improve this campaign even more next year. So 5days.ca slash Winnipeg and thanks very much for everyone who's been so supportive. Okay, thanks guys. And for more information on the target poverty movement here in Manitoba, go to cfsmb.ca. And once again, for anyone interested in helping out the MSU News Desk, we would love to have your talent, charm, wit, charisma. Please stop by the office and or email us at the address below. Once again, at the MSU News Desk, I'm Carolina Vasilica. And I'm William Jordan. We'll see you next week.